what an amazing golf course to test a brand new prototype affordable driver. Let's do it. Oh, let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, we are testing a brand new top secret affordable driver. Chris, golf doesn't have to be expensive, does it? Yeah, it's not really that top secret, but the name is going to change and we are we are actually providing our own feedback for this oh, so the guys yeah. can tweak it, which will be good. Uh, yeah, golf can be affordable. It doesn't have to be expensive. Does it do the job? James has got some numbers that he will put on the screen in this video. This is going to be a really fun match, guys, with myself and Chris here at Linna Golf, which is a European tour destination. So quite a difficult course. Uh, and we're going uh, basically all out attack, Chris, yeah? We are. Full attack. Not bad. It's just fading to the right side. It's not taking a great bounce either. That's going to be in the rough. Caught this in that little tree patch, I would yeah. say. So interestingly, Chris, in your drive that you're testing, you have a what is it? A ten size ten sixty size seventy. Ten, ten size seventy blue. Mm -hmm. And I've actually stuck an auto flex in this. So the guys do offer premium shaft components. Obviously, the auto flex is an upcharge. This severely puts the price up. I'll get my golf ball. But the real talking point, guys, around the Tacomo Golf Clubs all the way throughout the bag is that price. So the driver's going to be around £250, obviously depending on the shaft option you get. But they do have some really cool stock options coming as well. So keep your eye on the Tacoma website for these. And let's see who can bring this home. Nice fit up that left side. It's Terrible by. balance again from me. Oof. Has that hit a tree and gone left? I think it did hit a tree and gone left. Well, I'm on the right, you're on the left, I'll see you at the green. Sociable. So, not our best two drives there, but I quite like the sound of this driver. It's quite a nice Funny feeling enough, club. Yeah. I was uh, just going to say the opposite. Oh, you're not a fan? No, I, I don't like the You'd sound. You'd like to kind of hear it sound a little bit more high pitch, maybe? No, a bit more dull, actually. I think it's quite tinny, mm. like a ping, whereas I'd like yeah, it more it's like, very a, ping -like. like yeah. a cobra. Yeah, so I'm a big fan. I'll show you a few videos now, guys. I'm a big fan of that kind of carbon effect on top. I like the black head. I like the fact you get adjustability in a driver that is going to cost less oh, than around £300. Good jump. Yeah, that hurt my back actually. That. Guys, get in the comments below how much would you pay for a brand new driver from a brand that maybe you've not heard so much about just yet. Right, we'll go up the left side for mine first, Chris. I think mine might be a bit longer than yours. Ah, oh, yeah. here we are. Ooh, here, the gap. Ooh, I tell you what, I'm not so sure if there is a gap. Oh, there is a gap. That's wonderful. Right, not the best tee shot. We have 155 yards using Tacoma 101 T irons. Let's see what we can do. Brand new. Out Brand new. new. Out of the wrapper. Big fan of, happen. obviously with the irons as well, the KBS Tor C taper light shafts. Yeah, for a good price, premium uh, components. Yeah, which is a big thing. This is a big thing which I have tested with Tacoma before. Come on, James, put some pressure on. This is that tree, which it has. Oh. Solid. Yeah, taking that all day. Zoom in and show them where that is. That's a great shot, isn't it? We can just see it on the green. Right, Christian, yours has come down the other side of the You've actually done me that. Well, it's Which is a rarity nowadays. Chris doesn't often hit it past me anymore. But that's not a bad drive. And you've got 144 into this green. Right, I think I'm going to go uh, a little nine iron. Oh, that's good. Is it up there? Oh, that's up with mine, look. It's up there. Not straight at it, like I said, but... No, I think I'm closer, actually. Good job you hit that big drive. Replace your divots. Right, two good shots there. Birdie opportunities for both of us. Guys, we are going to play a little bit of a scratch match using these drivers and these clubs. Stay tuned. Who gets the beers? Yeah. Did you know that? 
Right, Chris has got quite a long putt here, so I'm glad that it uh, hit that long drive. I've got a bit of a shorter one for Birdie here at Linna Golf. Lovely golf course, guys. Comment below if you've ever played it. Yeah, not bad, a little bit short. I've said the greens are a little bit slower here just because they've had a very tough winter this year. They've been covered over, I've never heard of that, Chris. They've had mats on them, keeping them warm. They did lose a couple of the greens that are now back at this European tour destination. James for birdie. After a loose driver into the trees. So, ah. so just caught out by the pace, but I'll give you that one. Will you? Yeah, generosity. Thank you very much, that's a par, sir. Well done. And that's a par. Whole halved. Well. Let's move on. Nobody wants to buy the beers in Finland. <laughs> right, guys, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch and use Chris's driver. So I'm going to use the one with the Ventus, is it? Not a Ventus. Tensai. I should know the difference there, shouldn't I? Um, but nine degrees, you can see we have adjustments on there as well. And we'll have an adjustable back weight. So it's always nice to be involved in something like this, isn't it? And give the bits of feedback to the guys at Tacoma. Chris, have you been in this? <laughs> no, there is some roof marks on it. <laughs> isn't it nice, Chris, to be involved and just kind of give bits of feedback? It is, but it shows where you like the sound of it, I don't like the sound of it. So it's then finding for the middle ground for the companies of do they have one drive? Is that not just so finish? Just a lovely road with a motorbike going over and probably a lake somewhere over there. With which fish in it? Pike. Correct. Is big it pike? Or are you big just pike. Big pike. You can use this if you want, by the way. I was just going to use it. I use this monstrosity. Yeah. Not your kind of thing, is it, Autoflex? No. Uh, do we know what this hole is, by the way? Uh, sixth. Dog leg left. Yeah. So it's at that mound, I think. Right. Let's see if I can get. Again. Not so expensive for the head or for a club, but you know, the shaft options are expensive. A bit low, it's going to run down to the round right side of the fairway. And it's certainly not a shaft that will be going in my bag. And the big thing for me, so we speak to guys all the time, such as people here at Tacoma, and it's like the big thing is the components that go into these clubs don't give cheap rubbish shafts don't give cheap rubbish grips make sure that the components do match the quality that you're trying to make and to produce it does look very ping like down at the ball doesn't it it does it's a great finish on the top of the uh, club that's a good looking shot that's exactly where i was wanting it exactly where he wanted it but a great finish on the head, very much like the Cobra I have been using. P PXG like as well, you could say? Yes, very much so. Right, Chris, you've managed to find the fairway with that swing somehow, and you've got 172 yards into this green. Oh, into the wind. What are you thinking? I'm going to play a little 5 iron with the old 101 tees. 101 tees. Nice and forgiving, look great down at the old golf ball. Nice, a little bit left, good strike, good know. kick in. Ooh, it's Lands strong. on the green, I think it's going to be a fairly long putt for you. It is. Right, I'm actually just on this down slope, which is going to be rather difficult, or quite difficult, got my words mixed up there, because that tree's in the way as well. I have... 150 on the nose yeah. but i'm gonna hit a 99 nine, because that flag's right at the front as chris mentioned nine, nine. Listen, you hit five iron in you all right no after that we're using that auto for that expensive shaft has not helped me out you're not a fan of that are you at least you top it like you have done before top it or snap we're into the wind here wind is into needs a little little draw is that a ridge on the green as well you can see just beyond beyond what you got now eight Right, switch to eight iron. We'll get it chasing. He thinks he's seen a, a ridge behind the flag. However, it's not coming round as much as he thought. That's a bunker, isn't it? It could be bunker. Ah, James. One left, one right. Below your feet, you absolute moron. 
to play a draw from below my feet randomly. Forgot the rules of physics. Right, so mine has actually stayed on the green, but it's going to be a tough putt. James down here in the bright white I can't sand. See. And certainly stands out when you're playing this golf course. Oh, did that line float? Oh, fantastic shot. Any spin? A little bit of spin and stop. <laughs> Every chance. What a shot! Every dog has its day. Not the easiest of putts. Go, go, That's go. actually really good. Well done. Still you though. Still me. Hole in one on the next hole. I, I highly doubt it for myself. Oh, burnt the edge. Did the hard work there with the longer putt. But I'll have out. the proto now. Have the proto. Get Ooh. in, that tried its best, didn't it? <laughs> it tried to jump out. One up. up and down from that bunker as well. I know. What a shot. This, this is my kind of challenge to finish off a video. Five. I can't read finish, but I can read that hole in one in the middle. And 500 euros. Oh, feeling it. 185. 185 downhill. I'm going to say it's that majestic five iron. Yeah. Here. I'm going to bring the four just in case. Ooh. Right. Fantastic par three so far. Nice. Yeah, just lovely. You know what? Just a lovely golf course, lovely holes. Mm. I'm going to try not to move this too much in the air and keep it nice and straightish. Try not to move it. Nice, so loud. in a bit. Get up. Chaser. Is that up? Yeah, I think that's front edge. Wasn't, wasn't the best strike, but got away with it. No, no Hoyo and Uno, unfortunately. No five. What a time it'd be for your first one. Oh, we can only hope. I think I've got more chance of catching a pike in the lake. <laughs> and we're not even going fishing, so. Yeah. Right. More chance of catching a cold in the sauna. <laughs> this is true. Hmm. Certainly not your best shot. Oh, nice bounce in though. Did that hit a tree? A very lucky bounce. A very lucky bounce. That's just down on that left hand side I over the bunker. I tried my best to lose that ball. <laughs> yeah, you did. Right, Chris, mine's actually short right, so that must have taken a very soft bounce. I'm just laughing because I've seen where yours has finished. It's not With... the easiest of shots. No. Cracking hole though. Lovely hole. Disappointing that not one of us has hit this green, to be fair. Definitely say mine's the easier up and down. It's a great shot. What a shot. Ah. Oh. I'll give you that. Regulation. It was a big old crow. Now I really need like a pitching wedge here, but I was quite bothered to go all the way back to the cart. Nature watch here. Pardon? Hopefully get some pikes on later. James has been known to chip in. Crow in the background. Oh, it's just a masterclass. Using the prototype Tacomo golf clubs. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't done already. I'll see you at the same time tomorrow.